Welcome to the setup guide for Fastway for WooCommerce. Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm one of the guys here at ExtensionWorks. Today, I'm going to step you through the installation and activation of your new Fastway plugin. I'm going to assist you in doing your configuration, and then we'll look at how to test for some rates. And then last but not least, I'll step you through some of our frequently asked questions. Okay, so let's get started. I have a really basic installation of WordPress along with WooCommerce. A few things that I've already started off with under settings. Set my base location to Australia. In this instance, I've used Victoria. My currency is Australian dollars. And the allowed countries, I've only specified Australia given that Fastway only ships to Australia. Now, if you're using other Fastway extensions for other countries, again, you would change those here. Now moving on to the installation, we want to add a new, click upload, choose the file, in this instance our zip file that we received, and click on install now. Next we want to activate the plugin, and here we receive some really important information. Your Fastway extension requires an additional extension from us being extension works. So here I'm going to install the additional plugin. Now this is a standard plugin from us and it works exactly like a standard plugin should with inside WordPress. So right now it's grabbing the latest version of our servers and downloading it and installing it. Okay. Now it's in, now I'll click to activate. Okay. Now the next part is I want to add my license key. And click on activate. Okay. So now we've activated our plugin, it's time to set it up. Let's head to WooCommerce, settings. Now as you can see we've got a message up here to ensure that we add in our franchise. So that's the first thing we'll do for now. So click on shipping. Click on Fastway. All right, now this is the screen that we want to get to. Head towards the bottom first and choose your franchise. In this instance, I'm going to select Melbourne. Okay, so let's head to straight to the top and we'll walk through these settings. We want to ensure that we select our specific countries, similar to the front of what we did before. So we'll select Australia. We don't need debug on, but we'll come back to that later. A handling fee. So it's up to you if you want to add one or not. Um, I might actually add 5% in this instance. And I'll apply it to the cart as well. Letter mail I'm going to combine with my parcels and all the unpackable products will be sent directly over to Fastway for um, rates. I'd also suggest leaving the packing method the similar as we've said here is box packing. Here's some pre-populated boxes that we've already put in. This should come stock standard out of the box like this. We'll also add another box in again just for demonstration purposes. And this one here, um, we'll select it to be on as well. We also like to customize these rates. Now, with Fastway, we only have two shipping service available. Um, we have a parcel and we also have a satchel. Um, in this instance, I'm going to deselect satchels. However, you can still leave them on. I might price adjust that also by $2. Now, next up is to discuss around the rate options. And depending on what you'd like to do, you may want to only show one or all of the rates. In this instance, I'm only going to show the cheapest rate all the time. Fallback, I'm going to put I'm going to write standard price or standard shipping. 
And the fallback rate I'm going to use is, um, let's say, $15. The API key, you can leave that blank for now. Um, you may also have had one from Fastway. Now the label prices. Um, you must have these added. With Fastway, because of the way um, the systems are set up, you'll be required to enter in every single label and its price. Um, these, this is very important, given that um, if you're shipping to specific destinations from your franchise, you will need to have each and, in, each and every single one set up. I won't go and do this now in this demonstration, but nonetheless, you need to do that. And where you get your prices from, you may have negotiated rates also from Fastway, so ensure that you put those in. And um, you have an option here also to show the normal user price or the frequent user price, including or excluding tax. So I'm going to use frequent user for this one. I'm going to click Save. Okay, it's giving me some warnings, which is great, because I haven't selected any particular boxes. So I'll come back to that. A very good warning nonetheless. So I'll click on this test box. I've enabled a shipping service and I'll also make sure that I have one of those on. Okay, so that should be it for now. Um, next up, we want to go and check for rates and ensuring that we are returning the right ones. Okay, now it's time to start testing for rates. So let's head to the front of our website. As you can see, I have a really simple theme running. And my shop has been set up. I'll add a product to my cart. Okay. Just one thing to make note here is, um, as you can see under shipping, um, I have my standard rate. Um, which I set up, it's actually my fallback rate of $15. Um, also, it calculates shipping. We would re highly recommend that you don't enable this, because this will confuse customers, because your rate is actually not being shown, it's using a fallback rate. And why is that? So Fastway um, has some specific requirements to um, be sent across to it, which cannot be captured in this particular page here, but will be done on the actual checkout page. So our suggestion here is to actually disable the Calculate Shipping. And how to do that is really, really simple. So head to your back end, head to Shipping Options, and disable or uncheck the Enable Shipping Calculator on the cart page, and save your changes. Okay. So let's now head, to, head over to our checkout. Let's populate some things in here. Great. And as you can see now, I have an actual rate returned of $10, which is correct. Um, that label price has come from in here, which is our $10 brown label price. And finally, I'll provide links to our three most commonly asked questions, which are, why do my rates seem so high compared to my online pricing? Also, how do extension works go and pack my items? And last but not least, the most common one actually, really, is dimensions and weight must always be added to your products. <laughs>